Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS. And today we're having a look at the... Hi, Octane cross-platform rumbler called Octane. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. In fact, it's very cool. But first, we're going to kick off with today's featured artist, which happens to be a number one moderator here on the channel, an awesome artist and good friend of mine. Thomas Christ, this is a brand new track called Breach of Insecurity. Boom! Oh. 
Thomas Christ there with his brand new single. Oh, what's going on? Hey, 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 what's going on? iPad's trying to play the next song. What is happening here? That's because I had that in my liked folder. Man, I, why does why does I always do that? Um, uh, yeah, so Thomas Christ, Breach of Insecurity is his brand new single. Go over to his channel. It's in the pinned comment up the top. Click on it. Go subscribe to his channel. He's awesome. He does like, he, he does a show where he plays your stuff. Yeah, called You Rock. He also uh, plays his own music live every weekend. And he's going to be a guest on this show for this month's opening hour. So instead of him opening for me, I know this is going to get meta, isn't it? Anyway, my name's Jade Star. <laughs> this is How to Happen iOS. Um, yeah, so this month's opening hour, we do a special opening hour once a month where I have a guest musician come onto my channel and perform live for you all, sponsored by DistroKid, of course. And um, Thomas Christ is playing this month on my channel. So instead of opening for me, he's not playing that day. Instead, he's coming on my show to open for Pete Johns. Does it make sense? <laughs> Who cares? Really? Who gives a shit? Um, <laughs> it all works out. I want to say a warm welcome to the Wart Warriors. Thanks for being a Wart Warrior. A dollar a month gets you special access to emojis in the chat and a special secret show once a month on the channel for a buck. And yes, yes, there's a stew cash emoji. I did it, Stu. I picked the ugliest photo I could find. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. There is a Stu Cash emoji in there. There's also a Boomer Bass meme one in there as well too, which I threw in today. I think there's a new Naya Medved one. Um, I didn't put that in today. So but I swap around the emojis every day. You never know if your emoji is going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Let's say hello to you all in the chat, shall we? And uh, then we'll get down to, <laughs> there's the boomer bass meme one. It's a bit small, but uh, it is what it is. Let's say hello, Andy Goldsby. What's going on? I think both Andy and Stu are in the emojis today. We've got the, the double act to celebrate the Indigo Sunsets being back, back together again. you never seen that picture before. Ha <laughs> ha. I am your stalker. <laughs> I can find pictures of all of you weirdos. <laughs> anyway, weirdos. So, hello, Jim Shannon on Sounds. Hello, Timothy. Hello, Andy Goldsby. Hello, Thomas Christ. Hello, Russ. Hello, Leela, who just had a great show over on her channel with Thomas Christ. If you missed that, go back and watch it. Hello, Ian's Guitar Shack. Hello, Pain to Get. Timothy, I think I already said that. Joe Glenn is here as well. Um, ooh, I'm trying to click. Doing, doing all the clicky bits. Um, Stu's here. Uh, who else do I see? Dave Fox is here. I saw Frankie's here as well. Gary Hubs. Hello to you, Gary Hubs. Um, who did I miss? Audible Video. Hello. Russ, 8889. Chris Durham Music Channel. Hello to you. Who else have I missed? Possibly in the speedy of the chatty thingy. Brad's probably in the background watching. So hello, Brad, if you're around, if you're sneaking around. Um, I saw Guitar Shocker wrote, Frankie wrote, if anyone can help me get Bias Effects 2 Elite working, let me know. Um, if it's on iOS, I've done several shows on it, Frankie. So search Jade Star Bias Effects 2 and you'll find it. But it's only for iOS because that's what this show predominantly is, iOS. But um, yeah. Because uh, Omni Collective is here as well, too. Hello, Patrick Chandler. I see you creeping in there, sneaking in under the back door as I'm trying to close the door and keep all the, all the, the weirdos out. That doesn't work, does it? Because I'm still here. Um, I think I've got most of you. If I've missed you, just call me. Oh, Gazo of Oz, hello. If I've missed you, just call me a cunt in the chat. The word will get blocked, so I'll never see it. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Exactly. Thanks, hippie. All righty. So uh, is there anything I need to catch up on for this week? What's happening this week on the channel? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So uh, we'll run through everything that's going down this week because it's a crazy week. Um, we've got this show today. Then tomorrow we're taking a look at this, the VB3M, which is a an organ. 
As you can tell by the title of the show, let's all come and play with my organ. Awesome. So that is happening tomorrow. And then straight after this show tomorrow, I'll be diving in for the second installment, but episode three, but the second installment of working on my Methiest track for Song Timber for the track Hunger. I'll be uh, rejigging the bass, uh, sorting out some of the guitar tracks that I started with, more demoing of it, just getting the, the structure of the song together. Hello, Jenny. Sweet Jenny's here. Good to see you. So this is happening. T so tomorrow we've got another double header. This time tomorrow it'll be the the ham the organ the Hammond organ first, and then followed up straight away by this, and then the day after before you rock. Can you guess what is happening? It's an Apple event. Yep. So I'll be covering in my usual sarcastic, snippy, asshole way that I do. I'll be covering the Apple event in one hour all the shit that went down and I'll be taking the piss out of it. So like I do every time there's an Apple event, I love taking the piss out of them. And we'll talk about all the stuff that we can't afford that they just released or the stuff that they didn't announce that we can't afford either because they didn't announce it. So that is uh, happening over the next couple of days. And I don't have the, the uh, thumbnail yet, but this week's interview is with T.J. Zindel. So if you have heard T.J. Zindel's music, he is coming on the show to talk about his music. And uh, his music's really cool, yeah? And we'll have him on the show on uh, Thursday, your time if you live in the past, Friday for me. Awesome. Today we are covering an app that I was meant to cover in December. So... <laughs> It's been a while. I really wanted to cover this back in December, but when it first came out, I believe, in my opinion, it had some teething issues. So I didn't think it was, you know, ready to go. Uh, so I kind of put it on the back burner and thought once it gets its shit sorted out, I'll come back and do it. And then, you know, shit gets in the way and you forget about these things. And I happened to open it up last week and go, hey, they've worked out the issues. So I think it's time to uh, take a look at this app today called Octane. But first, let's have a look at um, anything that's on sale. Quantaloop Pro Live Looper is half price. I don't know what it is, but it's half price. Um, Vocal Soloist, which I've uh, done a show on as well, from Four Pockets has a couple of bucks off for $5.99. Rainbow Delay, which we did a show on, what, about three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago? That's half price, so worthwhile to grab if you want to go back and have a look at the show that I did on it, Rainbow Delay. It's very rainbowy. Um, Maze Rider, Bass Leveler, a whole bunch of stuff on sale. But we are looking at this today. And this is called, if you're searching for it on the App Store, it is called Octane Mobile. So if you just put in Octane, you probably won't find it, so you have to put in Octane Mobile. This is free to download, but <laughs> I know I'm going to get a lot of pushback and hate on this. It, it's got in-app purchases and it has two models. So let's talk about that and get it out the way first. It is a rompler. Now, if you don't know what a rompler is, it is like a synth that is packed full of um, uh, of audio uh, samples, yeah? So it's quite, normally the samples are quite large, so this can take a hell of a lot of uh, space on your iPad if you download all of the packs. It is free to download. You need to sign up. So when you first open up the app, it'll come up with a screen saying, create an account or log in. And you, ha you have no option but to create an account. It is what it is. Right. Uh, let's talk about the pricing because I know when it first came out, it's one of the reasons why I didn't cover it. So this is their website. When you open the app and you create an account, it'll take you to this website. So you purchase this outside of the iOS ecosystem. You don't do it in the app store. You do it on this website. I've heard lots of people bitch about this and go, oh, but I have to give my credit card details. But you fucking do for an Apple account too. So really, it's not that much of a deal. It is a subscription. Okay. 
Now, it says here um, on this page here on their website that it is $4.99 a month, but on the App Store it says it's $3.99 a month. I don't know which one is right because I'm in Australia and it's $7.99 a month. Now, uh, when you sign up, at least you get a seven-day free trial, yeah? So you can sign up and, and, and put in your details and know you're not going to get charged for at least seven days. Now, the smart thing to do is you can remove it straight away, yeah? If you, you sign up, you've got it for seven days and then remove it. But in saying that, with the subscription, so here it is here. It says $4.99 a month here. So I'm guessing that's the price it is. Now, with the subscription, you get all of the sound packs, all of them, every single one. And there's a fuckload of sounds in here. An incredible amount of sounds, probably so many sounds that you'll never, ever in your lifetime be able to use them all. So that's a good thing. We'll run through the app, but down the bottom here, you'll see that there is also a buy. So you can buy it outright as well. So for $10 US, you can buy it outright. Now, what's really cool about it is not only do you get the iOS version, you get a Windows version, you get a Mac version, and you get a, your iOS version. Now, with this, you get 240 presets. That's a lot of presets, yeah? That's a lot already. You're probably not going to use all of those, but that's a one-time payment. And think, you know, think about it. You're going to get a hell of a lot of sounds, plus you can use this on your Mac, your Windows machine, or your iOS device. Pretty good value. You'll see once we go through the sounds. So the other two tiers is a Octane Starter Bundle, which is 30 bucks, and you get five, double the presets, 500 presets. Or then there's the Octane Complete, where you get 1,500 presets and all 30 sound packs. But at the same time, you can just sign up for the subscription for the seven days to check it out first, yeah, and then cancel the subscription. So I would do that, sign up, get mess around with it for a few days, and then cancel it and decide if you want it or not. Do, am I going to recommend this to you? I can't. I can only show you what's inside it, and you have to make that decision. Remember, apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need to collect them all. But you should collect the ones that are going to help you create your best music that you feel you can get the most value out of, yeah? So the best way to test them all out is to do the the uh, the membership. Now, the other good thing is with the membership, when you sign up for the, uh, it's called Octane Plus. When you sign up to Octane Plus, and I don't think I've put the link in the description uh, to sign up to this website. So there it is. It's soundware.io is what it is. Um, maybe Thomas could put the link in the chat for me. That would be awesome, Thomas. I'd love you. Love you long time. Would love you long time. So, uh, yeah, and when you sign up, you get, what can I show you here? I don't know if I can show you on this browser, uh, my account. Let me just get off this screen just in case I'm giving you sensitive information. Yep, uh, he would have seen sensitive inf information there. That would have sucked. <laughs> Thank God I thought ahead. Okay. Let's come back now. So, yeah, once you've signed up, you get these options here. Look at this. You can download Octane for iOS. You can. So these are your downloads. Octane for Mac. Octane for Windows Plus. If you sign up for this um, the the um, seven day trial, you get to play around with Silo, which is their new beta. And trust me, Silo's once Silo drops, it's going to be really wicked. It's really cool. So yeah, you can download as you go. Up to you. Let's go back here. Thank you, Thomas. You rock. All right, let's jump over and play with it, shall we? Go over here for now and open up. Uh, so before the show, don't get too excited. I didn't make anything flash today. Um, in in about six minutes, I made this. <laughs> in six minutes, I threw this together. It, it's not awesome. If I spent a bit more time, I'd make something a lot better. So I'm just running um, one, two, three, four copies of Scalar. And I've got, what, one, two, three, four, five copies of Octane. 
and uh, just uh, drum computer. So uh, let's hit play. Yeah. Boogie, woogie, 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 woogie. Let's close this out. So anyway, uh, so uh, as I said, that was made in like, I think four and a half minutes, maybe. <laughs> pretty, pretty uh, quick stuff. So I'm going to open it up in a couple of places today. We'll open it up in uh, AUM because it is an AUV3 on your iOS device. Good stuff. Um, it is an AU for Mac. So you can use this in uh, GarageBand. You can use this in your AUM. Oh, exactly. I do too, man. Jim Shannon, I want an AUM t-shirt. I saw those the other day on the AUM users group. Oh, man, I want one so bad. But to import it is so expensive to Australia. Um, so I'm going to open this in GarageBand, show you that it works there. In AUM, Cubasis, it works in all of the doors, yeah? F first, let's jump over quickly to my Mac. So this is my Mac, which uh, resides over here. Here's my Mac and here's my normal desk. So my Mac's over here, yeah? So just now you know where everything is. Cool, so here's my Mac, and I've got it installed over here on my Mac. If we open it up over here, and you can open this up in GarageBand. Look at this, it's asking for my login. Are you serious? There we go, cool, cool, cool. So here it is. Hey Dwight, what's going on? So it works beautifully over on Mac and it can be used as an AU, open it up in your Logic, your Reaper, whatever the hell you want. Mr. Back from Doing Time, what's going on? So it works and clearly it would walk. Do, do you really want it, Russ? I think I have to start it higher than that. Hard doing it with a mouse. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. So there, there it is working on the Mac. Let's come back over to the iOS device. It does sound like Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So I'm going to open it up as an AUV3 over here. So Octane. And uh, now, oh, oh, it didn't open. What's going on? <laughs> Reload. Reload. Come on, dude. This hasn't happened before. There we go. It's open now. So here we go. Now, it is a rompler. Now, remember, this is not very kind on CPU. I have to be honest. So, you know, it's... Uh, it is what it is. I, As you saw, I had five of them running, and it, it was only taking up about 40%, um, you know, CPU. But let's open this sucker up, make it full screen. And uh, so here are where all, we'll start in the middle. This is where all your presets are. So as you can see, you can scroll through these. We've got, um, you know, all these packs here. And when you click on each pack, it opens up this side preset browser, yeah? So there you go. And yes, uh, if you download all the packs, it takes up between 8 to 10 gigabytes. It's, it's pretty, it's a, it's a lot of room. But in saying that, there's 1,500 sounds. 
That's a lot, yeah, for a rompler, yeah. There's a definitely we've got a guitar pack, Halloween pack. I need to connect my keyboard, that would help. So that was called a creepy pluck. We've got a creepy piano. Let's hear the creepy piano, shall we? Dead Rising Piano. What's that all about? So let's show you how to, how to get to the sounds and then we'll run through where everything is on this so you understand how to use it. So as you can see, in the middle, we have this uh, preset a pack which you can quickly access your packs down the side as I said on the left and when you click on each one that's where you can decide which sounds out of the presets you've got a little starring system here so you can favorite tracks and whenever you favorite something if I favor this choir when you go back up to the top you have a little favorites section and all your favorites will be saved in there for you. You can just go to all sounds and then all of them will be here, the huge list. Now just underneath there's this button here which says Octane Store and this is where you download all of your packs. And when you hold down, normally because I've actually got them all installed, uh, it just says open pack. But if you haven't downloaded them, when you hold, it tells you how large the files are before you download them. So you know, you know, if that's going to be too large. You've got a little search bar up here if you want to type in something. So I might want to put in like sound. And look at this. We come up with anything that's got the word sound in it. So future sounds. We've got an 808 pack. Hey, Zach, what's going on? Um, so there's a nice little search bar there for you. We'll head back to this Octane store. You can uh, hit play on each one just to hear a sample of some of the sounds. So here's our Halloween pack. We hit play. Maybe. Will it play? Why is it not? Here we go. So all the sounds that you hear in there are in these packs. And yes, what I, I saw Jim right here, uh, apparently they are releasing new packs several times a month. That is true. So another reason I'm really happy that I didn't do a show on this back in December was there weren't many packs, yeah? And over time, this library <laughs> has just grown and grown and grown. And they are. So that's why the subscription is really cool because you're constantly getting new packs. Now, you know, in fairness... They did give me a lifetime subscription, so I'm not paying for it. So, you know, I've, I've got to see it grow. But, uh, you know, that's because, you know, I, I do this show and stuff. I am lucky in that regard. So we've got an 808 pack here. Let's have a quick listen. Yeah. 
cool. Uh, what else do we have in here? Got some guitar packs. Let's listen to these guitar packs. Have a... Good morning, Peter Johns. Peter Johns. Straight to the principal's office, Peter Johns. We don't need any more 808s, Pete. Don't say it or at the Apple event, GarageBand will dump another 12,000 808s. So we got some guitar packs here. There's even a metal pack. We scroll down, we've got some industry sounds, new wave pack, late nights pack, nitro pack, in my bag, drum kits. What are these? Uh, uh, Pete John's in the house. Uh, uh, uh. It's very cool. Uh, uh. Yeah, here it is. Yes, Gary, for you, we got the Headbangers pack. I don't know how heavy this is going to be. <laughs> it might disappoint you, Gary. <laughs> yeah, girl. I'll wait for this to uh, load and then we'll... Very grimy. Uh, we've got lo-fi vibes. What that? There's even a, look at this. Catering to the potheads out there, we have the High Life Pack with a big mole leaf on it. So lots, lots of really good, good there's a lot of really good sounds in here. Let's, I, I need to hear the High Life Pack now. It's a nice attempt, Thomas. <laughs> no, good attempt. So, uh, there's a lot of packs down here. And Synthwave down the bottom, Club Pack, Vibe Packs. So, they, they're aiming this at producers, I do believe. All right. So not only do you get all these amazing sounds, yeah, so but there are sound effects in here as well. So uh, let's let's run through the UI and how you use everything. Up the top here we have a delay. And you can turn these on and off. See this tiny little light here. If I can zoom in a little bit, you see this little light there. I'll bring myself in. Um, this is how you turn them on and off. So we've got a delay. We've got a reverb, we've got a trance gate here, yeah, so it's a, it's a gate pretty much. Uh, you can change the keyboard from mono to uh, legato. You've got a glide knob, so you can get the nice glides happening with your mono keyboard. Uh, you've got a filter with a cutoff and resonance, pretty standard stuff. You've got a distortion up here, which has a, a little drop down box. I hope, can I get it happening? I can't. Why is that? I don't know why that is. Turn that on. I can't get it to happen. So you've got a input gain, output gain, tone. You've got a stereo image here. And let's cover the things across the top. You can also double the sounds. So you can layer sounds as well. So here we have layer one and layer two. So you can go in and choose two different sounds and play them off against each other. You've got an ADSR for both of them. So if we click between both of these layers, they both have the same uh, setups here. You can turn on a reverse, so you can make the sound effect reverse. Let's uh, reverse this one, shall we? We'll turn off this. So this first one is actually in reverse now. We'll do it with the second one, yeah? So that's pretty cool, you can do that. 
Pretty cool. You can layer these things over. You've got a ring modulator in here, a tremolo and an arpeggiator. Nice stuff. On the next tab, we have an EQ, yeah? So we have a full EQ here, which you can uh, go in and set your frequencies as you would like. Um, you know, that that's pretty neat. So what is it, one, two, three, six band, pretty much EQ there, that's nice. We can go in and change our EQ up. All of that good stuff, change the frequency up. We've got to turn them all on first. So they've all got an active button. You can see I'm just going across and turning them all on. Choose your frequency for each one. That's pretty cool. So we'll turn all these off. We'll come back to these later. I'm just showing you where everything is now. So there's your EQ, low pass, band stops. You can do all that. You have dynamics on the next tab, which is you've got an exciter, you've got a compressor and an expander. And you've got a whole bunch of lo-fi stuff as well. So you have uh, a flutter, crackling, a bit crusher. So plenty of stuff to mess around with. So not only are there, uh, there sounds in here, but there's a whole bunch of groovy effects. This is our 24K pack. Shall we run through some sounds? Now that is the one thing which I'll complain about, but uh, look, at the end of the day, it's a rompler. It's got to load the effects in. So if you were playing live, say, and you were using this as a, in a live situation and you were changing quickly between sound effects, this ain't going to be good for you because as you can see, when I click to change an effect, there's a bit of loading time going on. And if you still have the previous sound ringing out, it's going to create that noise. But if you let the sound die and then change, you're going to have no sound. So not ideal for changing sounds quickly. And we're still in the first pack here. So. I forgot too, you've got a master volume up the top here as well. So you can control your volume up there. Let's quickly add a MIDI channel so I can um, we'll throw in something like Strummer for this particular one from Four Pockets. And we'll connect this. Um, we'll send this out to uh, Octane. Am I doing the right thing? I need to sync this, I do believe. Sync, 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 sync. Uh, we need to go down here and host sync. No, what am I doing? Let's uh, close that. Well, let's add in just a scaler for fun. Boom, diddle, boom, 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 boom. And we'll add scaler there. 
We'll sync this to our door just so we've got something to play. We'll just sync this to the door on. And we'll do some chords. Let's, uh, what do we choose for now? Uh, just a common progression. Find something a little bit more sexy than sexier than that, shall we? Um, do something uh, classical. Let's do something classical. There we go. And in fact, what I will do, make it a bit easier, is sorry, I'm wasting your time now. As I'm done talking to myself, I'm going to load up progressions. We'll connect progressions to this. La, 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 la. Don't want to do that. We want to connect uh, progressions. And we'll, we'll generate some chords. Like so. We'll go to the arpeggiator. We'll sync this. There we go. So here's our little guitar tone. This is called Hard Trump, this one. Now, I keep stopping it because of what I said. When you're changing sounds, it does get annoying making those crude noises. Now, the point is, what I'm trying to, what I'll continue to make is there's a lot of ver varied sounds in each pack. Like, this is a, this is the 24K pack. If we jump over to the 8-bit track, there's a whole bunch of stuff from video games in here, uh, which you may have heard of before, like Excite Bike, which is a, I think Excite Bike is a Sega game. So there's, what else do we have? Metroid. Nice touches here. We even have like a, a it's like a Game Boy. So there's a whole bunch of uh, what's Skippy Boy? Tron. Eight oh eight. I know everyone loves a good eight oh eight. And there's your first sound. It's a bass drop. Let's go lower. Can we go lower? What's the lowest it's going to go? There we go. <laughs> So 
So plenty of uh, 808. <laughs> Plenty of 808 sounds in here. There's so much that I'm definitely not going to be able to go through all of these sounds. Wow, that's pretty gutsy. Hard style. Nice, nice, nice. Now I'm using my uh, keyboard controller to control all these sounds. We've got a bunch of arpeggio stuff. Dreaming one, let's check this out. Nice Picasso piano. So if we jump over to our layers, here's where our arpeggiator is. Let's scoot back over here so you can see it. You can control the speed and the direction. So we can change the direction. Now again, in your layers, this is where you can change things up. Because, as you can see with the, here with our layers, we've got in this first layer, we've got this trap clean piano sample. And then in layer two, we have the same piano sound, but we've got two different arpeggiators running. So we've got two different sounds here running, uh, the, the same sound, but running two different arpeggiators. Pretty interesting stuff that you can really start creating with these. We can change one of these to say this uh, trap dark bass. Let's grab these strings instead. So you can see there's a bit more than a rompler going on here. There's, there's quite a bit of messing around you can do with this to create some really interesting sounds. You have access to, now within your samples, you have access to, uh, with your layers, to all of the sounds that are available in that particular. Uh, so as you can see, I'm scrolling and our little scroll wheel here, this contains all of the samples, every single one you've got in alphabetical order. So you can grab any sound here like a cinematic kit as a layer. And even run some drums as an arpeggiator with that piano track. Let's grab this uh, clarinet synth. <laughs> If one's too loud, you can always pull the gain down on the second one. Pretty neat, yeah? Let's get out of the arpeggiates. We've got some atmosphere packs. So clearly these are going to be pads. There's a lot of really fascinating pads in here. Now, you can probably clear hear straight away it sounds like there's some lo-fi magic going over here. So if we click over to our lo-fi tab, what have we got going on? It looks like we've got uh, some flutter running. Yep, so the lo-fi to turn this on here and turn it off. 
There it is without the uh, lo-fi. Now if we introduce that lo-fi. We can add a bit of hiss to it and some wear. can really degrade the shit out of these sounds, which is a very nice touch. You know, when I first uh, downloaded this, I was like, is this just sounds? Is it? But th to find out there's so much more going on, we've got a noise algorithm here. We can change the mix of the noise. We've got a bit crusher. Great stuff, huh? Let's go through some of these atmospheric sounds. Beautiful. Uh, we have a bass pack here. Hey, Ron, what's going on? There's a lot of really thick shit basses in here. Not shit, but you know, thick as shit. Even stuff like that robotic sound. We've got some bass, uh, looks like a bass, if I can click it, a crazy bass harp. So you can hear we've got some glide in there. You can see we've got our little glide button. You can Now, also, when you're using this as an AUV3 in something like uh, AUM here, all of our stuff is available for you to mess around with. So you can uh, go in here and uh, play around to your heart's content, set LFOs on all of these. So there's, there's no LFOs anywhere to be found in this, but you could run like an external LFO to control like the filter cutoff, all that kind of jazz. And I mean, this is... The, the parameters are really deep. There's a lot to mess around with within the parameters. So you can, you know, control it with CCs, um, all that all that fancy stuff for you for your MIDI controls. There's a hell of a lot you can do in here. Have we got some lovely bell sounds? Everyone loves a good bell sound. I feel like I'm watching True Romance. What the hell? We also have some brass in here. Let's hear some of these brass sounds. Now you're not going to be getting stuff like in uh, I Symphonic with the brass sounds in here. Although, you know. Now it sounds like in here, we've got, so you notice there, 
You can hear there's a bass under there as well. That's because in this particular sound, they have layered two sounds. We've got a therapy brass, and in layer two, we've got this deadly 808. See you later, Deep Gravity. I don't even think I got. To, I saw your name there. Hi, mate. And bye, mate. Have a good day at work. Don't work too hard. We have a cinematic pack. Look, I'm only up to C and there's so much in here. Now that's pretty cool. So you'll notice here, as I play each different key, there's a whole bunch of sound effects in here. Wicked stuff, huh? Got cinematic kits. <laughs> nice, huh? So we've got four kits in there, a nice dark cello. So not your typical uh, cin cinematic kind of stuff, really, really dark, brooding stuff. So uh, we've got some club stuff in here. Very, very typical club sound there. We've got an ethnic pack. Let's see what some kind of sounds are in here. This one's a big one. It's taking some time. Russ's favourite pack, Ethnic. That, that is, that is the never-ending story choir. So let's 
have a look at the layers. What's involved in this? We have the never-ending choir, and there's nothing in this one. So you could add something in here to give it a bit of a sexiness, a distant vocal pad maybe, and then turn the layer on. How many packs I see... Um, you ask. Uh, so remember, I have the... Oh, man, it just crashed. Reload. Did this crash as well? No. That was nice of it. That, that didn't crash. Of course that didn't crash. Um, how many packs? Well, remember, I have the subscription model. So the packs... Uh, what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 packs. Um, and with the subscription, so 30, what did I say? 34 packs, which is equals a 1,500 sounds. It's a lot. That'll keep you busy. But as I said, for 10 bucks, you can download, you can pay for the, pay for it outright and just get the, uh, <laughs> and just own the 250 sounds. I showed you the prices at the start. Uh, what else do we have? We'll find what's in my bag. In my bag is some galactic sounds. What are you going to do, Russ? So do I, every day I do an app review and go through an app, I can't tell people how to use it because you're trying to come up with questions for the quiz. That's counterproductive. <laughs> hey, Frank. Very gamer sound there, very 8-bit. So there's also an In My Bag drum kits. Let's have a look. What do these do? How do these work? So there's a shitload of kits in here to play with. Reverse cymbals, plenty of stuff, man. There's just too many sounds to go through. Let's go through some in the lo-fi stuff. What else do we have? So there is loading times between these. It is what it is. Um, as I said, some of these oh, I crashed again. I'll tell you why it's gone crashing, because I've got the I've got it playing in the background. That's really stupid. <clears throat> I've got shit running in the background. That's really foolish of me, but it is what it is. I'm a fool. What can I say? I'm a dancing fool. Um, we've got percuss percussion keys plucked. We've got a rave pack, a retro pack. We've got a Moog bass. So we've got Moog sounds, Moogish leads, uh, Moog brass, bass. I'm 
a apping fool. That is correct, Leela. Not forgetting that we have all these delays and reverbs we can add here. Actually, Joe, in answer to your question, it's a quiz about I uh, about the community's music musicians. So it's about you, and it's about me, and it's about uh, all the people who make music within this community. That's what it's going to be about. So you need to know your stuff about people like Pete Johns, and stuff like that. Yeah, name all Thomas Christ's albums and every song on each album. You have a time limit of 60 seconds. <laughs> Good luck. We've got synth sounds in here as well. There's so many sounds, it's ridiculous. I do encourage you, if you'd like to try it out, as I said at the beginning of the show, you can sign up, you go to the website, soundware.io, Download the app first and um, create an account and uh, just just uh, go for the subscription for, for a seven-day trial. See if you like it, play around with it, and then cancel it if you don't like it, and then maybe buy it outright. Totally up to you. But you should, hopefully you've seen today, there's a hell of a lot of stuff in here. Um, and, oh, don't let me forget, let's uh, close this out. We'll finish on this. Close it out there because it does work in GarageBand. And I know people always ask, but does it work in GarageBand? And yes, here it is. So we got some drums here. I think I have to pick a sound that would help. Oh man, not this bullshit. For real? I hate it when GarageBand does that. It does this uh, weird thing that it won't... Here we go. Cool. Go this 24 pack. Get some pads. What can we do? Maybe we'll go to Synthwave. We'll scroll down all the way. So it does work. You can go full screen here in GarageBand and get full access to it. So it does work as an AUV3. We're in GarageBand, it does work. Scroll down to the bottom and we'll grab a synthwave kind of sound. So you've got woodwinds in here as well too. I didn't even, look at that, some flutes. Our synth wave boom. Nice, huh?
So it works absolutely perfectly here in GarageBand, not a problem at all. So don't worry about that. Don't you worry about your pretty little selves about that. It's all good in GarageBand, Cubasis, all this kind of stuff. It is AUV3. As I said, if you do pay for the subscription or you buy it outright, you do get it on Mac as well because there it is. Oops, that's the wrong screen. There, it is. See, here it is on my uh, – hang on, I've got the wrong screen up. Here it is on the left on my Mac. There's my Mac there. We can play it over here. And here it is on my iOS device on the right. So it does work on both Mac over here. Absolutely cross-platform. Beautiful stuff. And uh, at the end of the day, it's up to you if you think it's worth your time. Um, I like it, uh, and, and, you know, I'm trying to be as straight up and, and honest as possible. I said at the start of the show, when this first came out, I wanted to do a show on it. Uh, look, I think it works on M1 and all Macs, uh, as it says on the website. It doesn't have anything specifically saying M1 only because it's not purchased on the App Store. Remember, it's purchased here on their website at soundwave.io. So when you download the app, the first thing you'll be greeted with is create an account or log in. Nothing else. So you have to go to the website and either buy it outright or subscribe for the month and you get the first seven days free. That's it. So you can see try it free here. And when you click on it, it takes you to the, your cart and you can buy it. And then you can cancel it after seven days if you don't like it. So it's totally up to you if you want to try this out. There's a lot of sounds in there, but very handy if you're like using iOS and then you're bouncing across over to your Mac and using GarageBand on both or whatever to have the same sounds there. Very, very handy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, the same for me, Jim, as well. Like $4.99 a month works out to $7.99 a month for me. So... Uh, we, we, in Australia and Canada, we get charged shitloads more. Yeah, it is what it is. But you decide for yourself because, again, apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need them all. You only need the ones that make you happy and help you make music. That'll be it for today. I'm going to get out of here and uh, I've got to work on my song Timber stuff. Remember, guys, tomorrow... I am uh, opening the show. I'm doing two shows in a row tomorrow. So hopefully you can join me for that. The first show, we're looking at this VB3M. And then straight after, like five minutes after, we'll be diving in to work on my Metheus track. And if you haven't heard the Metheus track so far, what I'm working on, let's go out with it today and play a little bit of how it's shaping up so far. Um, I haven't worked on it since the first show that I did. So uh, that'll be interesting. So here it is. We'll go out with this today. This is uh, basic. Hey, uh, Cubic Lover as well. Sorry, I didn't get to say hello to you. Um, this is the Mimetheus track. These are the very scratch demo tracks. We'll continue working on this tomorrow. And um, remember, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we all rise together. And I'll see you tomorrow. This is Metheist Demo for Hunger. Boom. Boom. <laughs>